For all fresh contents, subscribe, press the bell icon and never miss an update from TechDada. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you 7 ways to fix the disk is right protected problem on SD card or USB flash drives. Right protection is a very common problem on SD card or USB flash drives. And if you have same problem, then this is the video for you. In this video, I am going to show you 7 different ways to fix this problem. So please watch this video till the end as I will be explaining everything step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost anything. And also please subscribe to my channel, then press that bell icon to receive notification from my future videos. So with that being said, let's begin. Okay, here I have USB flash drive which is right protected. As you can see in this flash drive I have a lot of files but I cannot delete or copy these files because it's right protected and I cannot even format this flash drive. When I try to format it, it says right protected. As you can see here it says the disk is right protected. Now let me show you how you can fix this kind of problem. Okay, first of all try to fix this problem using some cmd commands to do that first of all open up cmd just go to start and type cmd make sure you run it with administration privileges after that click on yes now type here disk part d i s k p a r t hit enter now type here list disk list space disk now hit enter once again now this is going to show up all the disks or uh, devices that are attached to your computer devices i mean storage devices like usb flash drive external hard disk sd card etc now select your usb flash drive from this list in my case my flash drive is located in disk one make sure you select the right disk from here now type here select space disk one okay after that hit enter now it says disk one is now selected once again make sure you select the right disk if you choose any other disk then it might cause some problem make sure you select the right one okay after that type here attributes disk a double t attributes space disk now hit enter as you can see here it says current read only status is yes which means this flash is currently write protected. To remove write protection type the following commands attributes disk clear read only. After that hit enter. As you can see here it says after that type here exit and close this cmd command now let's go back and eject your usb flash drive or sd card and insert it back now this time your problem should be fixed now let's see no problem is if this method didn't work for you then you don't have to worry just skip to the next step okay next up we have registry editor if the cmd method didn't work for you then try edit your computer's registry editor to do that first of all go to start and type reg edit it's short form of registry editor after that just open it up now click on yes after that double click on h key local machine then open up systems folder just double click on it after that select current control set just double click on it next open control folder now it's gonna open up a huge list of options from this list you have to find an option called 
storage device policies scroll down scroll down storage here's the storage okay i don't have any storage device policy over here if you don't have storage policy over here just scroll up then right click on control then click on new select key now name this key storage device policies storage device policies make sure there is no space between the words and beginning of each word should be in capital okay once you've done that just right click on it click on new then click on q word 64 bit value now name this value write protect write without space protect hit enter now right click on it then click on modify now now you can see the value data is zero just change it to one then click on ok now restart your computer after restarting your computer plug your usb flash drive back in and your problem should be fixed our next method is checking physical button of write protection on usb flash drives or sd cards nowadays there are a lot of sd cards that comes with built-in write protection button or switch if you have such kind of usb flash drives then try to play with that switch try to turning on or off and also there are some sd cards that comes with write protection button just like mine as you can see here i have an sd card which has a write protection button as you can see now it's currently turned on write protection is turned on if i switch this up now write protection should be removed from my sd card once again if you have such kind of usb flash drive or sd card then try to switch it on or off okay if the previous methods didn't work for you then you should try a software called hdd low level format tool you can get the software from the link given in the description below just click on the link below and it's gonna take you to this page from this page download and install a small tool called low level format tool here's the windows option just click on it now it's gonna ask you to purchase the software you don't have to worry just click on continue for free okay now select your usb flash drive or sd card which is right protected in my case mine one is second one which is an hp usb flash drive after that click on continue okay now select low level format tab from here then click on format this drive now this is gonna tell you it's gonna remove all the files from your usb flash drive so i'm just gonna say yes i don't care about my files now this is gonna take time so you just have to wait for it and I'll come back when the formatting process is completed okay now the process is completed now let's see whether our flash drive is fixed or not nope I think the problem is still there because this software is supposed to format my USB flash drive which is not formatted okay if this method also didn't work for you then try the next step okay our next method is also using a software called malvaya style usb repair just go to google and search malvaya style usb repair after that just click on this link over here malvayastyle.com just click on it once you are in this page just click on this download link to download the software okay after downloading the software just install it into your computer After installation, the software will not create shortcut on your desktop, just like other softwares do. So, in order to find out, just go to start and type launch disk repair or it should be right here or just type launch disk repair. Just click on it, then click on yes. As you can see, this is the interface of the software. Now from this list, select your USB flash drive, in my case mine is HP. After that click on disk part then click on ok ok now it says your device could not be respond at this time please try again so I'm just gonna try again this time I'm gonna select this option 2 then I'm gonna try it again 
Okay, this software couldn't remove rack protection from my SD card. Okay, if none of the methods shown in this video are not working for you, then this method will not definitely but 90% will help you to get rid of rat protected option on your USB flash drive or SD cards. Okay, in this method, we will use another software called ASUS Partition Master. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. Okay, once you open the software, now select your USB flash drive. In my case, my flash drive is in D drive. As you can see, this is my USB flash drive which has right protection option. So now select this and right click on it. Then click on format. Type a name for your SD card. In my case, I'm gonna type Texada. Then select the file system, whatever file system you want. In my case, I'm gonna keep it on NTFS. Now cluster size, leave it as it is. After that, click on OK. OK, this software is also couldn't remove the problem. So no problem. Let's skip to next step. If all the methods shown in the video didn't work for you, then your last option is to recover or rescue your important data from that right protected SD card or USB flash drive. Before making this video, I have spent my two days researching about same topic. I have read a lot of articles. I watched a lot of videos but couldn't find any other solutions. If you have any solutions other than the ones I showed in this video, then please share it with us. I'll be glad to know that. Now this method is optional. If you really care about your data that are stuck inside that right protected SD card, then you might want to recover your data using a data recovery software. Now there are a lot of data recovery softwares out there and I will leave the link of some of the best data recovery softwares in the description below. So. In this video, I'm going to use a data recovery software called Recover It Free. This software is not completely free actually. With this software, you can recover only 100 MB of files. In order to recover more, you have to purchase it. So in this video, I'm going to use this software because this, this is the best software out there because this software is made by Wondershare and Wondershare is world's number one data recovery software producer or manufacturer or whatever you want to call it. And once again, you can use whatever data recovery software you want from the link given in the description below. So I'm going to use this one. So my USB flash is already attached. So I'm just gonna click on this one, which is external device recovery. Now click on next. This is gonna detect your USB flash drive automatically. So here's my flash drive. Then click on start. Now this is gonna start scanning for the files. As you can see, now it's finding my files now this software will find even older deleted files so I'm just gonna wait for this to complete okay now the scanning process is completed now select the type of files that you want to save in your computer and once again this software will allow you to recover only 100 MB of files if you want to recover more than 100 MB files then you have to purchase it and if you think that the software didn't find all the files that you wanted then you can switch to this deep scan mode which is at the bottom so there you have it guys thank you so much for watching this video and please do let me know which one of these methods work for you and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also do not forget to share this video with your friends and if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel with notification on and i'll catch you on the next one have a nice day